T-Rex vs. Titanoboa. What would have happened if they had fought? Millions of years ago, long before the dawn of humanity and our dominion of the Earth, the world belonged to the reptiles. Tremendous and fearsome beasts roamed the land, sea, and sky, forming ecosystems that were drastically different from what we have in nature today. Our specific focus today is on two reptilian titans, ruthless predators that would send any lion or tiger scurrying like a mouse. One is widely regarded as the undisputed king of the dinosaurs and likely all terrestrial predators, Tyrannosaurus rex, a leathery brute with abundant teeth and scant mercy. The other is the largest serpent of all time, so big it could swallow crocodiles whole. Titanoboa, a snake whose farewell embrace was all too final. The following video examines these animals and their likely habits, habitats, and influence to establish who would have come out on top were they to cross paths. Tyrannosaurus rex, which translates to King Rex of the Terrible Lizards, Tyrannosaurus is actually one specific species of the genus Tyrannosaurus, which is part of the Tyrannosauridae family. If that sounds confusing, it's because it kind of is. However, it is best explained by referencing other Tyrannosaur species. Apart from Tyrannosaurus rex, aka T. rex, there was Tyrannosaurus macriensis, whose fossils were discovered in the Lake Hall Formation in New Mexico. The difference between the two species can be compared to the difference between lions, Panthera leo, and tigers, Panthera tigris. Like all other Tyrannosaurus species, the T-Rex was a theropod, a class of dinosaur that featured three toes and claws on each limb as well as hollow bones. The beast was also bipedal, getting by on two massive and muscular legs. Its forelimbs were roughly three feet in length, and their specific use is still somewhat of a mystery to scientists. Although they may have been used for grabbing and grappling prey, other predators, or mates. The T-Rex is perhaps most famous for its massive head, which held tremendous jaws armed with around 60 teeth, each roughly the size of a steak knife. They also had massive tails, which served as a counterbalance for their large heads, and maybe even as weapons. All in all, a fully grown T-Rex may have measured 39 feet from nose to tail and more than 19 feet in height. Weight estimates range between 11,000 to 16,000 pounds. Sexual dimorphism has been a bone of contention for a while, but some paleontologists theorize that females may have been larger than males. The great dinosaur lived in what we call North America and Asia in the late Cretaceous era, around 72 to 66 million years ago, until the Great Cretaceous Extinction Event, which wiped out 75% of the world's species. It favored sparse forests and plains near bodies of water, and mild climates that suited its prey. Holy Carnivorous, the terrible Lizard King was a hunter and scavenger, devouring flesh in massive chunks. Prey items would have consisted of other dinosaurs of the time, like Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Hadrosaurus, Velociraptors, and many more. They would have also preyed on early mammals like Multituberculata, an ancient ancestor of modern rodents. Heck, they probably ate anything they could catch or any carcass they came across. Whether they cannibalized other T. rexes is unknown, but not hard to imagine. The T. rex is an undeniable icon in science and pop culture, and is the unofficial face of all things dinosaur, with its fossils being star attractions at major exhibits. It is even on the logo of the Jurassic Park media franchise, despite the Jurassic period being nearly 70 million years before its time. Now Titanoboa, which literally means Titanic boa, is an ancient snake genus from the Boadae family. Boads also include modern non-venomous serpents like boa constrictors, pythons, and anacondas. Most fossils collected so far belong to a creature classified as Titanoboa serachonensis, named after the mines of Serachon in La Guajira, Colombia, where they were first discovered. Fossil dating places the Titanic boa in the mid to late Paleocene, about 60 to 58 million years ago. Fossils are incomplete, with most of them located at the Florida Museum of Natural History, and they are continual subjects of study by scientists from all over the globe. 
Given the region of the Titanoboa's discovery, it is believed to bear a strong resemblance to modern South American constrictors like the anaconda. The vertebrae are several times larger than any other boid species, and their skulls are home to over a hundred recurved teeth. As far as size, the Titanoboa more than earned its name. These giants are believed to have reached lengths of 40 to 50 feet, with body weight estimated to be between 1,600 and 2,500 pounds. In comparison, the green anaconda, the heaviest snake today, tops out at around 500 pounds, while the reticulated python can reach 29 feet in length. This mammoth size suggests the Titanoboa was not a tree dweller and more than likely traversed the ground and lurked in the depths of swampy rainforests. Fossils of dense tropical vegetation and water-dwelling creatures like crocodiles and giant turtles are a strong indication of Titanoboa's domain. Tropical climes would also have allowed the giant snakes to regulate their body temperatures. Given the demise of large land dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period, it is likely that fully grown Titanoboas were apex predators. Their sheer size means they could have overpowered and killed most other animals in their ecosystem, from fish, turtles and crocodiles, to early mammals and bird ancestors. They were ambush killers, waiting or creeping up on unsuspecting victims before unleashing deadly force and trademark constriction. Hunting strategies would have differed depending on whether they were on land or in the water. However, like snakes nowadays, titanoboas likely had slow metabolisms. This means they would eat a handful of times a year, if that. They would have spent most of their time secluded in the dense jungles, digesting their gargantuan meals in peace. Though Titanoboa is a very recent discovery to modern science, Central and South American cultures have long held tales of giant serpents in the dense forests and swamps, although these accounts are likely about anacondas. However, the Titanoboa's discovery was a huge event in the scientific community and sent shockwaves around the world at large. Many people were thrilled to learn of the real existence of snakes depicted in the popular Anaconda franchise. Weaponry and Strategy The T-Rex depended on its sheer bulk and ferocity to run down and maul victims. Its primary weapon was its devastating jaws and butchering teeth. If not the sheer shock of seeing a T-Rex barreling towards you, it also had vicious claws on its feet that were used for combat and grip while running. The arms seem comparatively useless, but they could have been used for grasping to set up those brutal chompers. Scientists do not believe there was much strategy beyond see and kill, but their comparatively large brain cavities suggest they were smarter than most other dinosaurs of the time. Heavy scarring and damage to T-Rex fossils point to the titanic clashes the Lizard King had with its prey and rivals. The Triceratops, armed with deadly horns, would have been a notable adversary. Models based on the fossils we have today have led scientists to believe that the T-Rex was capable of speeds of 30 miles per hour. Titanoboa is an even greater mystery, with most hunting behavior inferred based on what can be observed in extant boids. The snake was likely an ambush hunter, being the last thing its victims ever saw. On land, it would have waited patiently in dense vegetation, saving energy for a calculated strike. In the water, it would have had greater mobility, allowing it greater initiative to stalk and pursue prey. The Titan Strike would have stunned most creatures thanks to its unimaginable strength and the element of surprise. It would quickly wrap itself around victims and squeeze the life out of them, leading to crushed bones and suffocation. The snake may have also drowned mammals and birds it attacked near or in water. Who would win? A clash of apex predators is always tough to call, and different factors could tip the scales, no pun, in either direction. However, were a clash to occur on land, it's hard to bet against the T-Rex, which would have had greater mobility than the Titanoboa. Its land speed, snappy jaws, and nasty toe claws would make quick work of the snake's hide. In a head-on clash, the Tyrannosaur would probably be wise enough to avoid the snake's head and target the vulnerable body. Of course, if the snake had the element of surprise on land, it could go directly for the jugular with its spiky teeth. 
If it could then coil around the T-Rex's tiny arms and neck, the dinosaur would doubtlessly succumb to the embrace of death. That said, the snake would still be an enormous target for the Rex's gnashers, so there's a real chance it would be forced to let go, which would spell curtains. Were a clash to occur near a water body, the snake would pose an even greater threat. Though still significantly outweighed, Titanoboa would have the grace, speed, and strength to kill the T-Rex through direct suffocation or drowning.